Hello everybody, in this video we're going to do math in Python. Alright, let's get going. So you may be asking, why am I doing math? And here's why. Math is everywhere. Even in this run, dino run game, there is math. So the score, every second you're adding one, that's math. Gravity, when the dino jumps up and it falls down, that's math too. Math is everywhere in computer science. So here's how we do math in Python. We have addition, which is a plus, subtraction, which is a minus, multiplication, which is a star, not an x or a dot, and division, which is a slash. Historically, my students have picked these up pretty quick. Then we have some fancier math. The exponent, which is two stars instead of the caret. We have floor division, which is a double slash. And we have the modulo, which is the percent. Now, most people aren't quite sure what these mean. So here's an explanation. If I do 11 divided by four, the answer is two with a remainder of three. So floor division is what I get if I drop the remainder or the fraction of the decimal, and that's two, or the number on top when I'm doing long division. And the mod is my remainder. Other thing to look out for, you need to follow PEMDAS, which is the order of operations. So the classic mistake that people make is if you have something like five plus five times three, it's equal to 20, not equal to 30, because I need to do the five times three first. So here it is in action. I'm printing with an addition, a subtraction, a multiplication, and a division, and then two exponent problems. A couple things to know, there's no quotation marks. We'll get into why later, but no quotation marks. And the other is for division. Even if it divides evenly, the answer will still have a decimal in it. In this example, 15 divided by three is 5.0, not just five. If you take an odd number and you mod that with two, the answer is always one. And if you take an even number and you mod that with two, the answer is always zero. And that's because even numbers can be written as 2n, where n is an integer, and odd numbers can be written as 2n plus 1, where n is an integer. And you might have done this in math. So this is something you'll want to know if you need to test for evens or odds, or if you're taking the APCSP exam. All right, so now it's time for the labs. I'm going to go over all the solutions, but you really should pause the video and try these yourself. Promise they're not too bad. All right, so for this first one, we're just asking you to do some math. We're asking you to do 5 plus 6, 3 times 11, 2 to the 4th, and the remainder of 13 divided by 9. So if you look at the examples, hopefully these are not too hard. I'm doing them right now. You may be wondering why I'm putting spaces around the operators, around the times and the pluses. And that has to do with a Python coding convention. Spaces around the operators make these more readable. So that's why they're there. So I'll run them and everything runs and it's good. All right, so now I'll try the next one, which is math debugging. In this one, we have five plus four times three. And what does that equal? Well, when I click the run, it equals 17. But I don't want it to equal that. I want it to equal 27. So what do I have to do to make it work? This is a classic PEMDAS error. Just by itself, it will do four times three first, and that's not what I want. So I'll put parentheses around the five plus four, which will make it do the five plus four first. And then five plus four times three is 27. And then so when I run it, then it works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.